Maybe he was trying to enroll in the pageant. Sort of. Your situation poses a problem. Let me talk to our chairman. Hey, what are you doing, maybe? It's Shirley. I'm just here to prove that all these pageants care about his looks. Just watch. Shirley's inner beauty will get trunked by her outer icky. Well, what happened to your nose? It's part of the disguise. Isn't it cool? The same one Nicole Kidman wore in the hours. It had been purchased for her at a charity auction she'd attended as a studio executive. $10,000. By Jamie Kennedy. Oh, you're such a dear. <laughs> but I'm not putting you in my remake of a thoroughly polite dust-up. Miss Wolfbeak, although it costs quite a bit to put in a ramp for you, we got approval. You're in. And Lindsay watched with pride as Hope Loblaw did an original number that Lindsay herself had written. And now, please welcome Annabelle Veal performing We Three Kings with a camel toe. <laughs> Baby was trying to get knocked out of the pageant. Folk impersonator, Church, how has God influenced your life? About just as much as Big Bird and the Keebler Elves. Well, my faith would have been shaken if you'd taken my legs too. <laughs> uh, Joe Bluth state, I was betrayed by my brother Michael. Who's your favorite family member and why? Definitely not my shallow materialistic mother who only cares about looks. I think we all feel that way about our mothers. And we all have legs. And the inner beauty pageant down was down to the final three. three. Will it be the beautiful Hope Loblaw, the stalwart Annabelle Veal, or the justifiably bitter Shirley Wolfbeak. It became clear that Shirley was going to win. I'm sorry. This is wrong. And that's when Maybe displayed some real inner beauty. One of these girls deserves to win. She can stand. Maybe? That's how I know her. Let us pray. Oh, for God's sake. And after the pageant, George Michael went to congratulate <laughs> Anne. Well, congratulations on coming in third. That's amazing. And I heard you're the first camel act to ever crack the top ten, too. So that's it's like a record. And I'm a bit relieved because um, I was... I thought maybe if you came in first, you would have outgrown me. <laughs> outgrown you. Mm -hmm. That is the term I've been looking for. It seems Job was right about what happens to third-place contestants. I met a man. George Michael was devastated. It seemed he'd lost his girl and his father because he wasn't man enough. And he was faced with a choice. 